Good day, everybody. I'm Shmi, and I make guides for Path of Exile's Ruthless Mode, but today I'm back to give you all one of my favorite tips that works both in Standard League and in Ruthless League. With this tip, you can fly through your Atlas progression and effortlessly farm up over 100 Atlas points. If you're enjoying the content, please hit that like button, and feel free to subscribe if you'd like to see more. You see, once you get to the end game, the journey through white maps goes relatively quickly. Yellow maps can be a bit limiting due to needing the base map items and enough orbs of alchemy. But that just takes time, and playing through those maps is why we love the game, right? But red maps... Red maps get hard. Not only are you dealing with monsters level 80 and above, but also some of the hardest map modifiers. Worst of all is that if you have to craft the maps yourself, each one requires a map, and an alchemy, and a vol orb. Finding the maps and currency early on can be a struggle, especially in Ruthless. And even if you can get the map crafted, it's still a rare corrupted red map. It's gonna be really hard. Instead of running those maps normally, you can cheese the hell out of them using Kirok missions and an Explorer's Scouting Report. If you want to use this trick to get some easy Atlas points, you will first have to have at least one white and yellow Kirok mission, as well as one Explorer's Scouting Report. To unlock the Atlas point for a red map, the map has to be rare and corrupted, but it doesn't say anything about what tier the map has to be. If you use an Explorer's Scouting Report, after you've already unlocked most or all of your white and yellow maps, the result will be white and yellow Kirok missions for whatever red maps you haven't already completed. Then just look through his missions, find one that you haven't completed yet that is corrupted, and you can run it as low as tier 1. The game does not care if you obliterate a tier 14 boss by running it at tier 5. It'll still give you the Atlas point just the same. If you're in Standard League, as long as it's after the first week or so of the league start, then Explorer Scouting Reports are pretty cheap. I checked this morning and the going price is about two reports for one chaos and there are hundreds of listings. If you're starting now, you could pretty easily unlock every single non-unique map point in your atlas and never have to run a map above tier 5. And if you're ruthless, well, look, if you're ruthless, you know what you signed up for. If you're playing ruthless, what I'm really telling you is to never use an explorer's scouting report before you've unlocked all of your white and yellow maps. But regardless of what league you play in, this trick can drastically reduce the challenge you have to face when you're unlocking those 80th and beyond Atlas points. As for me, I've been having tons of fun on my Blight Destroyer Witch, that's what I've decided to call that class. But after a week of the constant dings and bongs from my standard loot filter, I'm ready for a challenge again. I'm going to be posting a build guide for her, my Blight Dest Destroyer Witch, soon. And I'm also, now that I've actually gotten pretty good at blighted maps, I'm going to be, make, going to be making at least one strategy video for those as well. But yesterday I had the most interesting idea for a Ruthless League starter build. I'll let you all know how it goes. Thank you for watching, and until next time, take care, Exiles.